Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing well. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the House of European Football here in Lyon, Switzerland, for the UEFA Europa Conference League quarterfinal and semifinal draws. The round of 16 came to a thrilling conclusion last night as clubs battled until the final whistle to keep their hopes of lifting the trophy alive. The first four teams to punch their tickets through to the quarterfinals in the early window of matches were Czech side Victoria Pilsen in a penalty shootout against Servette, Turkish giants Fenerbahce thanks to a decisive first leg victory against Union saint gilloise Greek club Pauk, who are back in this round after overturning a two-goal deficit, and Italian side Fiorentina, who reached this round for the second consecutive season. The final four clubs, who were then confirmed later in the evening, were Aston Villa, who overcame Ajax at home, Club Bruges beat Molde, Lille cruised past Sturm Graz, and in the highest scoring affair of the round with 12 total goals in this tie, we had Olympiacos eliminating Maccabi Tel Aviv. Only a few victories now separate these eight clubs from lifting the trophy in Athens on the 29th of May. Plenty to look forward to in the coming weeks, so let's take a closer look at the quarter-finalists. What an exciting competition so far and much more to come in the next rounds on the road to Athens. But who will play who? We're about to find out. And the man leading the proceedings for the draw is, of course, the UEFA Deputy General Secretary, Giorgio Marchetti. Welcome, Giorgio. Thank you, Pedro. Over to you. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As we enter the final acts of the third edition of the Conference League, we look back with satisfaction at the emotions and thrills that uh, this great competition has brought us this season. Fans are no doubt delighted with the doors this competition is opening for clubs to reach new European heights and uh, add a piece of silverware to their trophy cases. But don't just take it from me, please. Seven national associations are represented in this round, including six clubs uh, who reach this stage of the competition for the very first time, and six have the chance to lift the European trophy for the first time in their history. The unpredictable spice of the Conference League will become even more tantalizing next year as we introduce the league phase format. We are all looking forward to it, bearing in mind, however, that the season has still a lot in hand to satisfy our appetite for emotions. So here, to help us map out the road to Athens is one of Greece's greatest ever players.
And it's great to welcome on stage right now our special guest for today's draw, Vasilis Tsertas. <laughs> welcome. Bienvenido. Puedo decir hola también a, a, a Giorgio. Um, I wanted to ask you about the competition so far. Um, what matches or teams have, have impressed you? Uh, hasta ahora, ¿qué equipos o, o qué partidos te impresionaron más? Eh, bueno, mm, hablando del día de ayer, la sorpresa era de la reacción de Olympiacos de resolver un partido en ida 1-4 en su casa y ayer metió seis goles y era para mí lo más difícil. A partir de ahí hubo equipos que desde el primer partido eh, eran más cómodos y se clasificaron y otros que tenían que superarse en sí mismo para clasificarse. Claro, Olympiaco es un partido increíble. Uh, short translation, the, the match that impressed them the most last night, without doubt, was Olympiacos managing to revert a 4-1 deficit from, from the first leg, and then there are other teams that had different paths to the, to the quarterfinals. La final es en Antenas, obviamente que conoces muy bien. Uh, ¿Qué significa para el pueblo griego y para ti Recibir esta final. What does it mean for Athens and Greece to to host the final? Es un honor para nuestro país de tener que eh, hacerse ahí la final de la Conference League. Eh, yo creo que los equipos que llegarán a la, la final que disfrutan, que lo pasen bien en un campo nuevo, un campo muy bonito y que veamos un partidazo. Vasily is saying it's uh, an honor for Greece and Athens to receive this match, and he's sure whoever gets there uh, really going to enjoy the stadium, which is a new one, and also the city, of course. Finalmente, finally, um, who do you think is going to make it to, to Athens? And of course, you've got two Greek teams still in it. ¿Quién puede llegar a la final? Tenemos dos equipos griegos también ojalá, ahí peleando. Ojalá podrían llegar los dos. <laughs> <laughs> Pero yo deseo para los equipos de nuestro país eh, lo mejor posible que llegan los lo más adelante posible y creo que han hecho hasta el momento un buen papel y ojalá que sigan uh, igual. Yeah, uh, Vasily is saying that obviously he'd love both of the Greek teams to make it, but we'll see. Uh, he's obviously pulling for both of them and, and hopes that there will be a final matchup to uh, remember. Uh, te voy a dejar con Giorgio ahora para trabajar eso un poquito con nosotros. Uh, I'll leave you with uh, with Giorgio. Over to you. Thank you. Uh, technical uh, procedure, just a short reminder. This is a completely open draw. No country protection, no seeded teams, and no special conditions. The eight balls containing the names of the quarterfinalists are all placed in this bowl, and the pairings will simply be determined by drawing a first team against a second team with the first one playing the first leg at home. The calendar of the quarterfinals and also the semifinal matches will be communicated later this afternoon. So we are nearly ready. Let's take a look at uh, these eight clubs. Uh, we have uh, today in the draw Aston Villa FC, Club Bruges, Fenerbahce SK, CF Fiorentina, Losk Lille, Olympiacos FC, Pauk FC and FC Victoria Pilsen. Everything is ready. I will ask Vasilis if you are ready to help us, please. We shuffle and we go. Green light for you. Okay, no problem, no rush. Club Breeze. First team drawn uh, is from Belgium, it's uh, Club Bruges. First uh, appearance after 2015 and this stage of the competition. Club Bruges had a great seasons in the 70s when they won, uh, they, they were finalists in the Champions Cup in 78 and uh, also the UEFA Cup in 1976. We are ready to know who will uh, try to uh, bar Bruges from reaching the semi-finals. FC Pauk. And that will be Pauk FC, one of the two Greek teams uh, striving to reach the final in their country. It's the second time in this quarterfinals in this competition for Pauk. Uh, they would like to be, for the very first time, 
in their history in the uh, semi-finals. They've scored 34 goals till now. So it's a, been a great European season for Pauk, no doubt. FC Olympiakos. From one Greek to another Greek, uh, now it's Olympiakos from Athens. Uh, back to the stage of the quarterfinals uh, since 1999, at the time it was the UEFA Champions League. And uh, Olympiakos uh, playing at home, please, uh, Vasilis, tell us uh, now which of these five remaining teams uh, will uh, be allocated to Olympiakos as their opponents in quarterfinal two. Fenerbahce. So it will be Fenerbahce. Olympiakos playing Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce are here in the quarterfinals uh, for the first time since 2012-2013. They've also scored a lot of goals this season. Uh, from the very beginning in the qualification set was uh, 37 goals scored by this uh, Istanbul side. Aston Villa. And now we go with Aston Villa. Aston Villa FC, first appearance uh, in the quarterfinal since 1998. That was the UEFA Cup. Aston Villa had a great year in 1982 when they won uh, the Champions Cup and also the Super Cup. And that coach is the most successful in the history of the Europa League, of course, with the uh, Losc Lille. And uh, for Aston Villa, the challenge will come from France uh, with uh, Losc Lille. The very first time that Losc Lille reached the quarterfinals of one of UEFA competitions. But their coach, Fonseca, reached the semi-final of the Europa League with uh, Roma in 2021. Now we have only one uh, quarter final left. FC Victoria Pilsen. And the home team will be Victoria Pilsen from the Czech Republic, uh, the very first time in quarter finals, also Victoria Pilsen, who are unbeaten in the previous 14 UEFA matches, where they won 11 of them. And uh, for Victoria Pilsen, only one team is left which is Fiorentina. Obviously, Fiorentina, La Viola of Florence, runners up in the Conference League last year. And the first team who has scored more than 50 goals in total in this competition. Now, with the quarterfinals uh, already clear, we now need uh, to know the lineup uh, for the uh, uh, semifinals. And uh, this will be another integral draw among the four teams uh, which will qualify from the quarterfinals, indicated as winners of quarterfinal one to quarterfinal four. Again, the first team drawn will play the first leg of semifinals at home. And uh, we can go ahead, Vasilis. We can start with the first team or the first winner in semi-final one. Winners of quarter-final three. So Aston Villa or Los Lille will feature in quarter-final semi-final one as uh, the first team against uh, the winner of uh, the other semi, the other quarter-finals that now Vasilis is doing. So Aston Villa or Los Lille versus... Winners of quarter final two. Winners of quarter two, which is one between Olympiakos and Fenerbahce. So one uh, semi-final is known, the other as a consequence is also known, but we don't know who will have to play at home the first leg. Winners of quarter final four. So, winner of quarter final four, uh, Victoria Pilsen or Fiorentina, playing uh, as the home team of the first leg. Uh, and uh, their opponent is obviously the winner of uh, the quarter final, not yet drawn. Winners of quarter final one. So, either Bruges or Pauk FC. This is all also for the semifinals, uh, and uh, we just have to take one little step uh, to determine by a draw which team 
will be considered as the home team in the final, so the team named uh, uh, first, uh, they will be either the winners of semi-final one or of semi-final two. This is purely for protocol and operational reasons, uh, nothing else. The three teams will be treated equally in Athens. And uh, we can go and let's see which uh, semi-final winner will be the uh, considered as the home team of the final. Winners of semi-final one. Aston Villa or Lille or Olympiakos or Fenerbahce will uh, be named first in the final. And just show us, please, uh, the second uh, slip of paper containing the other winner of semi-final. Winners of semi-final two. Of course, Victoria Pilsen or Fiorentina or Bruges or Pauk. And this is all from now till Athens. Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen. Great work across the different rounds that are still to come. Let's have a look at the results that uh, have been produced here uh, in Nyon at UEFA HQ. We're going to have in the quarterfinals Club Bruges taking on Pauk, Olympiakos facing Fenerbahce, Aston Villa facing uh, Los Lille, and it'll be Victoria Pilsen clashing with Fiorentina. Depending on who makes it through to the final four, we'll have Aston Villa or Lille taking on Olympiacos or Fenerbahce, and Victoria Pilsen or Fiorentina facing Club Bruges or Pauk. Obviously, this is the road to Athens. The final is on the 29th of May. It's time to mark your calendars leading up to that date. The first legs of the quarterfinals will be played on the 11th of April, with a return leg scheduled for the following week, so on the 18th. The semifinals, we've got the first leg on the 2nd of May, with a return fixture scheduled for the 9th of May. And of course, the final will be in Athens on the 29th. That'll do it from all of us here at the House of European Football in Lyon. Vasilis, thank you so much for being here today, for helping out with the draw. Giorgio, of course, for leading everything masterfully as usual. All the best from us here. Take care. See you soon. My pleasure.